Hello YouTube. Um, I've been receiving some questions and comments about my Undertale Let's Play and how on earth I managed to fight Sans without completing genocide and how I managed to corrupt the game. And uh, Lily Lyod of uh, AO3 has asked that I make a tutorial for hacking your Undertale save. Well, before you can hack your Undertale save file, first you kind of have to locate it. And um, it can be anywhere on your local disk depending on where you got Undertale. The, uh, the save file itself is going to be called Undertale.ini. And you just run a search for that and find it. Now, because I have multiple save files, my computer is going to come up with a whole bunch of results for this. However, since you only have one save file because you haven't hacked anything yet, <laughs> you're only going to have one. So, uh, basically running a search of your entire machine, well, it'll take a minute, but oh, here we go. We're getting some results. I know none of these are the right one. Come on. Okay, we found it. As you can see, it is in a folder called Undertale, all in caps lock. Now, again, this will be in a different location depending on what version of the game you have. I have the Steam Edition, therefore it's in app, uh, User App Data Local. So I'm going to open the file location. And now we have my Undertale save. And as you can see, Undertale.ini has a bunch of numbers and stats in it and uh, words. But... Um, this can actually be directly edited in Notepad. You can go in and change whatever. Be careful what you change. For example, uh, th this has recorded that Asgore has killed me one times, that my fun value, which determines random events, is 12, that I've won the game once, that I've game overed 17 times, and that I'm currently in room 236. Let's just verify that that is where my save file is right now. Here we go. Undertale. Yep, 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 yep. Alright. Level 1. HP is 20. Yep. I am right before my fight with Asgore on my neutral pacifist run. The first time I played Undertale blind. Everything's been saved. I've got my dimensional boxes. I can call Pappy and Undyne. Though there's nobody there. <laughs> Ta-da! So anyways, in order to make everything easy, I've gone back one folder. Oh, uh, no, that's not what I meant to do. I've gone back one folder to the local folder. Right-click on Undertale, which is the folder the save thing that the save data is in and hit create shortcut. Now I did this quite a while ago but anyways I moved this shortcut to my desktop so I can access it easily and right next to it I've got a folder called Undertale Save Backup. So I have backed up my pacifist run into this folder as you can see. I've got a few other save files that I have created and all I have to do to switch them in and out is copy paste them between the two folders. Anyways, now let's get to actually hacking the Undertale save file now that we've located it. This lovely website is called Flowey's Time Machine. And um, yeah, you can uh, you can uh, basically set some random stuff, do whatever you like. My name is Noodle. My weapon is rock candy. Okay. Um, my armor is going to be a ghost fruit. Whatever. Um, I have a man laid bandana in my inventory. Uh, yeah, basically you can do whatever. But anyways, undertale.ene... Uh, remembers things that uh, you do between runs. You can check off whether or not you're trapped in Flowey's world or not, whether or not you've dodged all the special thanks. You can 
to lock yourself into genocide. Don't do that, please. Um, <laughs> yeah, you can, how many kills you are, have, how much love you have, basically throughout all of your files. File zero here is what gets saved at save points, and this is the one we want to focus on. But anyways, the, pro, the, uh, the website comes with several presets, and one of them is the sands battle. So we're going to load the stands battle. All of a sudden, our kill counts for every area have been set to the max. Pot value is unknown. EXP, gold, everything is right where it needs to be. We've been given the real knife and the locket. Our name is Kara. We have zero kills. Wait, what? Oh, whatever. Um, anyways, so these two things will determine everything for a genocide playthrough. But you know what? Let's mess with it. I am level one, and I have... You know what? I'm going to say we have 77 HP just to see what happens <laughs> at level 1. And I'm going to go up to love on this file and set it to 1. And now I'm going to save. <laughs> well, that's not creepy at all. I'm going to go to my Undertale save shortcut and overwrite the undertale.ini there, which I had previously backed up to a different folder, so it's protected. And now I'm going to save file zero to the same folder. Now, make sure it is named file zero and nothing else. If it's got a one on it here or whatever, it's not, you have to overwrite it. It has to be called file zero. Yes. Okay, so, if this worked correctly, I'm Kara, I'm in the last corridor about to fight Sans, and I'm level 1 in spite of the fact that I have 77 HP. Because why not? Um, Alright, let's just go confirm that that worked. There we go, Steam. Oh, not that big. Yep, long ago two races. Oh, look, Flowey's on my intro screen. I am in the last corridor. I am Kara, level 1, HP 77 out of 77. I've got some stuff. Yep, there's my stats. Next level, negative 494. <laughs> so, uh, let's just confirm here that I'm about to fight Sans. <laughs> and here's his genocide dialogue, which I'm just going to skip through because I've read it six million times, but that's not the point. And we are fighting Sans at level one with, wait, now my HP says 35 out of 20. Okay, so apparently setting your max HP to whatever you want doesn't work. I had to try it just once. Birds are singing, flowers are blooming, on days like these, kids like you should be burning in hell. Huh. Always wondered why people never use their strongest attack first. Anyway, I don't feel like fighting him right now, so yes, um... Okay, so, let's have a look at this new undertale.ini, and you'll see there's not a whole lot in it. Name, Kara, love, one, time, zero. Oh, yes, the save file time has zero on it. Sans, intro number one, F equals one. Don't know what that means. But anyway, you can actually alter this directly if you want to. Oh, let's see. Genocide repeat. Save file. Let's see what it says under sands for this one. Let's see. This is the file I made when I originally fought sands. Let's see. Sands. SS equals 1. I don't know what that does. Oh, intro equals 29. I've met him at level 1 once. F 
I don't know what all this means, but if you want to reset yourself back to zero deaths to Sans, just delete all of this. I tried it once. <laughs> okay. So anyways. Flowey's Time Machine. Here it is. Mess with it all you like. The link to it will be in the description. Now, the other program that I use to mess with Undertale to corrupt the daylight out of the dialogue so that Sans is saying very strange things during his fight, um, it, unlike what he normally... You know what? Everything he says is a bit strange, isn't it? Um, is called hate.exe. And it can be downloaded from this website here which I will also link in the description and I'm going to download it a second time just for demonstrative purposes and where did it go okay we've got the zip file we extract the zip file And we have a little folder called hate. Now, this program cannot currently be used where it is in my computer. It needs to be dropped into the same folder that contains Undertale itself, like the actual game. Um, we're going to go to computer, local disk, and it'll be either in program files x86 or program files. We're going to look in x86, and I am going to run a search for undertale.exe. Here it is. Right-click, open file location. So, this is the folder where Steam stores the Undertale program itself. It's all the way at the bottom right here. And you will see that I already dragged and dropped hate.exe into this folder at a previous time. So we don't need anything here. In order to corrupt Undertale, now this is a shortcut to the program which is in the program files that I just showed you. You open hate.exe, you decide what you want to shuffle. We're just going to shuffle text. You need to put in a word. Any word will do. I've been using naps to bluke. We're going to use naps to bluke as an example. And the power of the corruption between 0 and 255 determines how badly it's going to be corrupted. So let's, let's corrupt with the power of 255 and just shuffle the text. Hit corrupt and launch Undertale. Now remember, hate.exe only works if the program is in the same folder as the Undertale program itself. It also has a tendency to temporarily crash as it's launching Undertale. But as you can see, it works just fine. And this is not the normal intro dialogue. Eventually she realized that controlling people, what? Oh, oh, I know this one. It's snail ice cream. <laughs> so, we haven't even started the game, and you can already see how corrupted the dialogue is. Error. Actually, I think I made a video with this corruption seed using uh, Naps to Bluke and uh, 255. Except he thinks he killed me once here, because uh, I quit out. <laughs> A lab? My brother would love that. After all, you are very great. Why, thank you, Sans. Hey, puzzles might be fun if you tried them. I... Did you really think? Prepare yourself for- Oh, <laughs> oh shit. Wow, I actually died. I haven't died to that attack in so long. Wow. 
And I'm still not a member of the Royal Guard. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So that is how hate.exe works. Use at your own risk. Oh, if you uncheck all of the boxes and hit restore before launching Undertale, it undoes everything. If you don't remember to restore before you open Undertale again, you might still have a mess. <laughs> Anyways, um, that's how I did all this. I hope you guys enjoy the knowledge and these uh, useful tools for hacking Undertale. And good luck to you. Oh, uh, keep in mind that sometimes screwing with the game's code can make it crash, but everything is undoable, so uh, don't worry too much. Good night, everybody.